Hey everyone, here's a question from Square and Square Root, and I got this question from a comments. The question is: Find the least number which must be subtracted from 2,900 to make it perfect square. So obviously, this number is not perfect square. We have to make it perfect square by subtracting a number from it. So what is that number which should be subtracted from 2,900? Now, whenever you see a questions like what is the least number to be subtracted or added, in that type of questions, you have to use division method. It's not like a regular division. It's a different division, which you use to find out the square root. Now, if you don't know, I'm going to explain you in this question how to do the division method to uh, get this answer. So you have a 2900 as a number. So this number goes inside this. Now, how to choose a divisor? So before choosing the divisor, you have to start pairing up the number from the right side extreme right side that is from the last here i have to start pairing up so this will form this two zeros form one pair and this 29 will form one pair now once you have paired up this is the first step whenever you're finding out the answer like even for the when you're finding out the square root of a given number the very first step is you have to start pairing the numbers now since you're finding a square root here we have to pair them like in a two you have to uh, make a, a set of two numbers here now second step is you have to find the divisor how to find the divisor we don't have a divisor here right so you have to select a number whose square is near to 29 means we know that 2 square is 4 right 3 square is 9 I cannot take that it like we can like it's very small then we have 4 4 square is 16 then we have 5, 5 square is 25 which is close to 29, 6 square is 36 which is greater than 29. So we will not take 6 square, we will take 5 square which is 25. So here it will be 5, 5 is a 25. Okay? We have to take only squares here, then subtract it, we will get the remainder 0. Now drop this number. So when you drop this, you have to drop both the zeros because they are in pair. So you have to drop both the zeros here. Now next, now this step is very important. Uh, so this step is not like a previous step. So this uh, again you have to find the divisor. It's like for every step you have to find the divisor in this division method. Now how to find the divisor? Now this is very important here. So here in the numer like uh, in the uh, question part I have 5 right. I have to take the double of 5. So whatever number you have here like in right now I have a 5. So I'll take double of 5. The twice of 5 which will be 10 now suppose you have a 12 here then you have to take a twice of 12 which will be 24 okay like that whatever number you have there in the question part that number double you should take square of that number not square twice of that number you should take so twice of 5 is 10 2 5 is a 10 right or 5 plus 5 is 10 now take 10 here now it's not it over now we have to find out there is a one more digit that is which we're going to come in the ones place this is just a tens and hundred place we got we have to find out this another number there's another digit to, to this divisor that is, which is going to come in the ones place now this number should be in such a way that that is suppose i have taken here 101 in this uh, one i have taken then you have to multiply this one so which will be 101 now take 100 suppose i'm taking 2 here then you have to multiply this with 2 again so whatever you taken here number the number in the ones place the same number you should multiply with so it will be 2 2 is a 4 2 zero is a 0 2 ones are 2 it's very small so let me take 3 now so 1 0 3 i'm multiplying again with 3 so 3 3 is a 9 then 0 and then 3 ones are 3 it's still small so let us try with 4 so 1 0 4 so number in the ones place is 4 so multiply with 4 so 4 4 is a 16 1 will come 4 1 is a 4 416 it is greater than 400 so we'll stick, th stick to this 103 multiplied by 3 so here in this place I'm going to write down 3 so it will be 103 3 is a 309 here remember you cannot take 103 multiplied by 4 no the number in the ones place and the number you're multiplying this this should be same here and this we're going to continue for the rest of the step suppose you have a third step again it's going to continue the same way you have to take the double of this number and then find the number in the ones place multiply with it and then get the answer so this method will remain same 
now here when you subtract it so we got the number 309 subtract them so here you will get 1 and here we'll get 9 91 right now we cannot solve this further because when you take a 53 the next step when you find the divisor for the next step 53 double will be greater than 91 so we cannot solve this further we're going to stop it here okay and we're going to stop here now the question here is find the least number which must be subtracted from 2900 to make it perfect square you can see that if the number was perfect square in case the number was perfect square your remainder will be zero now since this number is not perfect square we got this remainder 91 so from so if i remove this 90 from from the original number whatever number i got after subtracting will be the perfect square number so this 91 is extra number here if i remove this from the original number that will be the perfect square number fine so uh, so least number to be subtracted is nothing but whatever remainder you got here that is a number you have to subtract so therefore so let us conclude this so least number least number to be subtracted to be subtracted is 91 now this is the answer that's it the smallest number to be subtracted is 91 now in case in your question it's not asked in this question in case your ma'am or teacher we're gonna ask you find the square root also it's very simple when you subtract it it will be 2000 okay, 2900 when you subtract this with 91 it will be 2809 and square root of 2809 is nothing but 53 now how i wrote 53 because the question here is 53 if you subtract it again you find the square root of it you're gonna get 53 only okay so whatever quotient you have uh, that will be your square root of the given like whatever number you got after subtracting it so this is additional part it's not asked in the question i have just shown you in case like they have asked in like there are few questions where they ask you to find out the square root again so you just subtract it whatever your number got to take a square root of it and the question what you have that will be the answer so i hope this question is clear in case you have further question or doubt you can drop a comment i'll try to make a video on it thank you so much for watching